What's up guys, Stephanie with AmericanMuscle.com and this is my review of the Magnaflu Competition Axleback Exhaust fitting 2015 and up EcoBoost Mustangs. The Magnaflu Competition Axleback is going to be a good option for the S550 EcoBoost owners out there that are looking for a deep sound and a smooth exhaust tone. I wouldn't call this system quiet, but it's not wild either, so it's a perfect option for those of you out there looking for something that's in between. It's not a loud and raspy system, but it does give a smooth sound to even the EcoBoost, which helps to get the sound away from the four-cylinder turbo sound. It's still there, but it's not as import sounding as a lot of other systems are. This is a full stainless steel axle back, and of course it's mandrel bent. It's a two and a half inch system with four and a half inch polished stainless steel tips out back as well. The axle back is designed to be more free flowing, and it reduces a little bit of back pressure, and the mufflers are also a straight through muffler design. I always say this, but stainless steel is always a great option for the cars that see all different types of road conditions because it offers great corrosion resistance. Like most aftermarket axle backs, this one's going to open up some of the turbo noise on the EcoBoost. The exhaust has better flow, and the turbo noise is going to be more noticeable with the axle back installed. You can hear the turbo spool, and you get a lot of the blow up noise as well. Overall, this is a deep sounding system that doesn't have a lot of raspiness and popping to it. It's got some volume to it, and it gives a smooth growl. And it is just an axle bag, so keep in mind that it can get even louder with the midpipe and headers. That being said, I'm going to give it a solid 2 or 3 out of 5 on the loudness scale for both the EcoBoost and the V6. At the end of the day though, no matter if you love this sound or hate it, it really all depends on what you're looking for and what you like. And luckily, there are quite a few options out there. When we start to look at price, this axle back is on the more expensive side of things. It's going to cost between $750 and $800, so it is up there with brands like Borla, but there is still the Ford Racing and Corsa offerings that are most expensive. If this is still out of your price range. There are a ton of other options for the EcoBoost, so you can always check out some of those. You are going to be looking at the typical cut and clamp design with the install for this axle back, since you do need to cut all S550 axle backs. I'm going to call this a 2 out of 3 wrenches on the scale, but just because of the cutting that's involved. It's nothing difficult, but I just recommend some eye protection and a fresh blade to make the cutting easier. Overall, you're looking at about 2 hours to get all of this done. A lift would certainly make things easier for you here, but the job can be done on jack stands as well if you don't have access to a lift. Cutting the factory axle back isn't hard. Just be sure to measure twice and plan and mark where you'll be cutting so you won't have a mistake. The new axle back will come with a new set of clamps, and you don't have to worry about clamping the tips because they're welded on there. And when you go to install your new setup, it would probably be best and easiest if you leave everything loose until you have it all lined up and then tighten it down. Overall, the Magnaflow Competition axle back is a two and a half inch stainless steel axle back that is a great option for those looking for a sound that's in the middle of the road when it comes to volume. It offers a smooth and deep sounding exhaust tone from straight through mufflers, and it has four and a half inch tips for outback. You can check this axle back out some more online for yourself. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.